I'm Rebecca Alexander with OWTV. We're standing outside the Amelia A. Wallace Gallery where we're about to view an exhibition on counter memories. That includes gender, displacement, and violence in such countries as Iraq and Syria. Let's take a look. Artist Khadija Baker talks about her work. Uh, I will start with my piece, Coffin Nest, uh, which is inspired by the massacre that happened in Iraq uh, during the dictatorship of Saddam Hussein. Artist Mona Sharma discusses her art pieces. I mean, these were the earlier works that I did that more dealt with personal matter. This one was dealing with like all the problems I had with the, like in my family, they were really strongly pushing for arranged marriage, and I wanted a love marriage. I had the opportunity to speak to both artists on how their art pieces utilize difficult stories to address injustice and cultural trauma. Because as a human being, we care about each other. Whatever have uh, happened there, it has a direct effect on every, every single person, uh, directly or indirectly. I want people to believe that they have the right to stand up and really talk about what they believe in. And um, the only way you can do that is by doing it yourself. So I make art that's like, this is what bothers me, and I'm gonna make a huge colorful picture about it, and there's nothing that anyone can do. Director of the Women's Center and Associate Professor of American Studies, Carol Quirk, discusses these issues. Issues of cultural identity, of arranged marriage, of a lot of uh, difficulties that we as women face in our lives that can sometimes scar our communities, uh, scar the relations between us. And I thought that these artists were just so bold uh, in taking on uh, these questions in really inventive ways. Counter Memories explores how representing difficult stories challenges viewers towards empathy and aesthetic imagination and ongoing engagement using oral history to aid in conflict resolution. I'm Rebecca Alexander for OWTV.